This is One on One. We are honored to be joined by Phil Villapiano, co-founder of the Foundation to Save the Jersey Shore. Great to have you with us, Phil. Thank you, Steve. It's fun uh, to be here. Some folks may recognize you from uh, your great days playing in the NFL. Won the uh, Super Bowl 1976, you just said? Right. Tell folks who you played for. Well, I played for the Oakland Raiders for nine years. Well, that was a nice team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they never played you know, rough. Yeah, you know. Jack uh, Tatum never played rough. Yeah, oh, my. <laughs> And we're right in his backyard up here now. Are you ready for this? I'm going to yeah. do this. Ready? I hate when I do this. People hate when I do this. You're number 41. 41. See that? Jack Tatum, number 32. Number 32. He gets sick after that. Yep. Um, yeah. You guys were a great team. All right. Now, how about Jack Tatum's first number? Oh, that's good. See, 41. Look at they put your number up right away. Oh, they did? Very good. Jack Tatum's yeah. first number. I'm going to say 36. 31. Jeez. Who was 32. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was not, um, it was not, OJ, it was not, it was, no, 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 no. Was the other guy? It was the other running back. He was running back? It was running back. Was, was it OJ's friend? It was a guy named Hewart Dixon. Hewart Dixon, who, who works around with a forearm? Exactly. He would give you the forearm like this. He knocked, oh, God, he was brutal. Brutal. Oh, sorry. And when Jack came to the team, he couldn't have 32. So, so he, he had to retire. By the way, talk about the foundation to save the Jersey Shore. And by the way, why are you into this? Well, Steve, it was, it was nuts. Um, you know, I lived down in Rumson. I grew up in Asbury Park. The storm came right there. I mean, it, 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 what it did to, I couldn't believe what it did. I mean, I couldn't believe, you know, I'm watching television and they're talking about, you know, it's coming from the south, it's coming from the north, it's coming from everywhere and it's going to hit. Right. And it did. And I just felt so bad for all the people, you know, all the businesses and the people that just got got annihilated. It, it, was, it was destruction down there. And, and unless you lived there, you really right. didn't get the real feel of it. So what did you and now, your friends decide you, that you had to do? Well, we just decided, let's, let's, let's go uh, put, a, put a foundation together, a 501c3, where we can, you know, get some uh, corporations and, you know, people to help us and they can, they can get a write-off, which is kind of important when sure. you're doing fundraising. We put it together. We got a, got a little help. Got some the, funding. Yeah, One of our friends, uh, Kevin Cummings, Investors Bank. Yeah, Investors Bank was beautiful. Big. Absolutely great. Yeah, we got a lot of nice companies to help us. We got the, he, our governor helped us. Governor Chris. You know, getting pushing it through pretty quick, so we got it done in a couple months, and then we started raising money. And we give we gave away a few million bucks. Where the money go? Where well, does the money? We go? had so we had it. We got two people that we actually had to pay. Everybody else was, was a, a volunteer. Right. But the one person that was very, very important was our, uh, let's call her our vetter. You know, somebody sure. that was a social worker that the people, they, they knew to come to us, but we didn't know how to give away money. Sure. It's not easy to give away money. Sure. So we got all this money. Who, who gets it? Who's selling us the truth? You know, sure. who needs it? There's a million not things. Easy. So we paid somebody to sit there every day and vet people. And then we have one of the other co-founders, a fellow named Kevin Leahy. They go out together because he was retired, which was great. He had a lot of time. Go meet these people and see what it was all about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that became the hardest thing is how to give money away. And, and my part of it was just keep raising it. But, Phil, the other thing that really struck me is one of the football, I know some of the sports teams uh, lost their equipment. I think one of the teams was Point Pleasant. Yeah. Point Pleasant Beach. They Point Pleasant Beach. I yeah. think they lost their equipment. You guys stepped in. Right. You got them their equipment. And am I, if I'm not mistaken, they won a state championship. Yeah, they did. What, what, a, what a tremendous. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up, Steve. It's cool because we got a, one of our guys lives down, you know, down near Point Pleasant. And he called up and said, "Hey, Phil, you know, what about schools?" I said, well, "What about them? Let's go." And he goes, "Well, what, tell me what happened." He goes, "Well." You know, Point Pleasant Beach is down low. That's right. They had all their equipment in this uh, facility right down sea level, totally ra ruined. So we called down here. We got the coach. We got the uh, principal. We got everybody together and said, what do you want us to do? Well, we, we're going to have to cancel our ski season unless we have some equipment. So save the Jersey Shore, raised wow. the money, got them their equipment. Went on. Wow. They went under. I, they did not go undefeated because I saw them lose to Shore Regional <laughs> at the last game, which I think was kind of a setup game. They ended up playing Shore in the state championship, wow. beat them, and Point Pleasant Beach, first time ever state champs. We feel like we had a lot to do with that. Big deal. Phil, what has this done for you? Well, it, 
you know, as, as you grow older, you, you, you never know when your father tries to tell you stuff, you know, how our fathers were, Steve, right? Hardcore. So they, they, they tell you things, and, and, and now I feel like I'm my father in a way. Philip, you got to give back. When you can help, you help. And uh, I, I sat there with uh, a fellow named Warren Diamond, this fellow Kevin Leahy. We said, come on, let's do something. Let's give back. And man, it makes you feel like a million bucks. And you don't want to stop doing it until the job is done. And that's what we told, you know, part of our mission statement, where we're going to stay here. We're going to help people and businesses and communities until the job is done. And Steve, believe it or not, I feel like the job is almost done. You're still building playgrounds. Well, we are. We did. We built a beautiful playground in uh, uh, Seabright. And we did that with the, uh, the firefighters. Yeah. And it was the called FMBA. The, yeah. That was wonderful. Great guys. We got the money, they put the, the labor in it, and we built a beautiful playground. Anybody living at the Jersey Shore, go to Seabright, right on the ocean. And the ocean's 50 yards from the playground. Right. It's beautiful. So we did that with the firefighters. And so as you wouldn't believe it, we, we kept laughing at how many things came together mm. when you're trying to do the right thing. Teamwork. Yep, things come together, and wow, we can help here, we can go there. And we, we, we got honored here. We get honored here. We meet another guy. Another guy gives us money. We, we gave it over here. Everything worked together. And, I know and it, it still sounds, is. Uh, sorry for me, I got to ask you this a minute left. You win the Super Bowl. Right. You make a difference in the lives of people down the Jersey Shore. They're both big. Yeah. It's, it's fun. Uh, no comparison? Well, it's a different. It's <laughs> <laughs> the Super Bowl, you know, it's funny. Wait, I'm not looking at it, am I? Yeah, this is Super Bowl. Oh, no, that's Raiders. not it. Yeah, yeah, you it's know, it's I got to ask. That's the first one. That's the Raiders' okay. first game. Guys, guys, can you zoom in on it as we're talking? This is it. This is the ring. That's 70, 76. Wow. Yeah. Little Please. diamond for every game we won. So there's 15 little ones, big one for the Super Bowl. Won the AFC West 10 times. So there's five over there and five over there. For how many times we won the AFC yeah. West that year, and then on the sides it's got the position. Well, now you win. The, now you win the Super Bowl down the Jersey Shore for helping people. Well, we're trying. Okay. Yeah, we, try, we try to help. We love the shore. And he look, he wants it back. He's got to <laughs> get it back. One on one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by AmeriHealth Caritas, parent company of Perform Care, Celgene Corporation, Johnson and Johnson, New Jersey Sharing Network, NJM, Choose New Jersey, and by Community Education Centers. Promotional support provided by The Record, North Jersey's trusted source, and NorthJersey.com. And by Commerce Magazine. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.